All right, I'm going to show you how to run this coil fatigue program and start a new reel. First thing you need is your data sheet. Grab your data sheet located right on uh, your reel. It's uh, in a plastic tube strapped to it. Numbers we need are the four strip links and we need the string number 801. That's for the reel that I'm going to be uh, making this example on. Once we have our data sheet, we're going to come over to the computer and we're going to start our fact program. Same icon on the DKD. Give it a second to load up, and there we go. The data we need to put in that's important, this data is never going to change. The gooseneck radius in inches, 120 inches. Next thing is distance of reel to gooseneck. In feet, it is going to be 45.932 feet. The gooseneck to the stripper, we'll get that put in in feet. It's never going to change. It's 26.67 feet. And our BHA length, that's going to vary based on your operation. So I'm just going to use an example of 135 foot BHA. Just an example. Click next. We're going to get into a screen like this. Just hit cancel. And the program is going to open. Next thing we need to do is we need to go up to file. Top right hand corner, left hand corner. File, new. Now we're going to put some coil data in here. String name. I got the string name off of our coil data sheet. String number is 801. Then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to put the first strip of our coil in off of our data sheet. Strip number one, length in feet is 1,020 feet. Our outer diameter, we're going to go up to the drop down box, scroll all the way to the bottom. This is located on your coil data sheet. It's three and a half by 0 0.190 for outer diameter. It's gonna fill in the end wall. And then we're gonna scroll over and we wanna set our minimum yield PSI. Default is 70,000. We wanna click on it and change it to 80,000. Click OK. Click on our second last box. We want to enter twice. Enter, 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 enter. Creates a new line. Our next strip length on our data sheet is 1250 feet. Outer diameter, same thing. Go up to the drop down box. 3.5 by 0 0.190. Minimum yield, 80,000. Click on the second last box, enter, 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 created a new line. Our third strip on our reel is 1260 feet. Same pra parameters, same yield, second last box, enter, enter, create the last line. Fill in our fourth strip from the data sheet. 470 feet, same parameters, 3.5 by 0 0.190, same minimum yield PSI, second last box, enter, enter. Now if we scroll down from what our data sheet says, we have 4,000 foot reel, it's exactly what we have filled in on our uh, fatigue program. Now we can move on and we want to create a new reel. Once we create a new reel, I'm going to enter the reel name, whatever you want to enter it as. I'm going to enter mine as Rig 406 CT1500. Then we want to put our core diameter in, in inches. Our core diameter is 149 inches. These numbers are never going to change. Our reel width. 69 inches. Our outer diameter is 113 inches. Once you have that in, scroll to the bottom, click OK. Next box that pops up, I'll let you read it. Answer is always yes. And this is what should happen after that. We got our uh, yellow fatigue program up. It's not completely complete. Next step, go up the file. We want to save this information we just put in there. 
next box that pops up it's asking us what we want to save it as I'm gonna call it the date is what my file name is gonna to be today's the 18th of June 2011 I'm gonna hit save give it a second to save that data takes a couple minutes If you end up with a not responding in the top corner of your page, just give it a minute, it'll go, just like it did. It happens in the same spot every time, don't cancel, don't do nothing, just let it go. Now our next step, once that's saved, we want to manage CTF files. Click on it, the box we get, the file we just uh, created, the 18th of June 2011 .ctf. We want to highlight it, and we want to click next. Once we get to the next box, our file's in there, just click OK. Our yellow should now turn to red. We're getting all the data in. Next step, we want to go to uh, real-time automatic to fire up the program and get it running so it's going to track on the DKD from this point on. The next box, once we click real-time automatic, we want to go find our flat DB file. So click on it. Our flat DB is going to be in our Medco file under the C drive program files. Click on flat DB. Click open. Click restart. Click OK. And let the program load. All the flashing going on on the top means it's loading the data. You can see the numbers going. It's a big file. Give it a chance to load the data and all is well. When the data is loaded, the flashing will stop and the number will quit moving. That's when you know it's done. After it's finished, the program's ready to rock.